My name is Lasmi Lee, and I'm going to be talking about my failures through my four years of college. So, in my life, I always strive to be perfect. I always wanted to outwardly look perfect and also wanted to be perfect inwardly. I always wanted to make sure that I had this perfect, you know, face and figure and I always listened to my parents. You know, I always was that girl that wanted to please them, playing the piano, going to lessons. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm that typical Asian girl, but in all realness, I hated making mistakes and I hated failure. And when I went into college my junior year, going into the education program, I was disappointed in myself because I failed the GACE and I also failed the um, entry program twice. And I broke down also because I got rejected by four education job opportunities that I could take. And I was asking myself, God, why am I failing? And in my heart, I was like, God, is this your will? Like, why is this happening? Like, if it's your will, then why am I constantly failing and never getting anything like all the people around me are? And I was asking God, like, if it was really your will for me to become a teacher, why is it it not coming to me easier? Why am I trying so hard? And I wanted to give up. I wanted to give up so bad because I kept seeing myself through my failure. In the end, through my failure, I've come to see that God was working in me throughout the whole time. And He helped me gain wisdom and helped me pass those tests. And He also was able to speak to me through my failure. And I asked God and I asked Him in my room and I said, God, what am I doing wrong? What do I need to do? And I just sat in silence and a voice told me, you need to break down your pride. And I broke down because deep in my heart, I knew I had pride. I thought of myself as someone higher. I thought of myself as I can do something better than this person. And I always compared myself that I was better. And the next day, y'all, let me tell y'all, I was so happy because that day when I decided to renew my mind, I got a call from Nesbitt Elementary School and they said they wanted Lasami Lee to be on their fourth grade team. And I was so beyond happy and I couldn't believe it because I just was going through failure after failure. I didn't have hope. But God has shown me that once you follow through and just listen to Him, He will bless you with so much more. And so I am ready to face this new chapter into becoming a new fourth grade teacher and I'm so ready to teach at Nesbitt Elementary School. And this is my story and I hope that you all are also encouraged by how my failures don't define who I am, but I need to just take a moment to listen to God and He will bless you with so much more.